Right, welcome to the next part of the Scrap Challenge. And in this session we're going to install the Simbel wireless ringing system uh, into or onto our, uh, our dumbbell. This is basically the uh, same as installing in a tower, except obviously everything's just a little handier. Um, all I'm going to do is put a, a transmitter onto the frame here. I'm going to put a reflector onto the wheel and I'm going to provide some power. And as I've got a, a power socket very handily here, I'm going to use a 12 volt supply uh, for that. So to install the uh, sensor, we simply locate it on the bar and I'm just going to use a couple of pieces of Velcro or hook and loop and put these onto here to stop it from slipping and then take one of these reflectors. Now these are self-adhesive. So we'll just put that in line. With the sensor. That should be fine there. And then provide power. Going to make sure that that stay will pass that and it won't so let me put it into there and I can just wrap this cable around because we don't want it to be getting in the way of the wheel. And we simply plug in. And that's the installation of the sensor complete. So if we go and get a laptop set up downstairs, we should be able to have a connection between our dumbbell and we can then ring as a full simulator. Right, so we've installed the Simbel transmitter upstairs on the frame. I've got the receiver here, uh, which is to be plugged into the laptop. Uh, it's wireless, just requires a USB connection. So if I plug that into the USB port, we should get a a flash here to say that it's working which it is now what we've got to do is configure this now with a small um, wheel in comparison to obviously the large wheel you get in a tower we may have to extend the, the uh, delay time so we need to configure some delay times uh, I'm just going to edit this I'm going to do COM5 which is what it is uh, I'm using a transmitter which is giving out the signal for the treble bell number one so set the signal i'm going to tell it to sound the bell on signal number one of one and i'm going to tell it to wait for 300 milliseconds before it actually sounds the bell uh, experience tells me that 250 to 350 is about uh, where i need to be so i'll put it in the middle of that at 300 and uh, save that close that dialogue and if i now Turn on the sensors, we should get a bell sound. And now I've just got to check that it's actually, when we're ringing, is going to trigger the bell, or the bell is going to sound at about the time that your hands pass your, uh, your nose. That's a good um, guide. I can 
fiddle about with this uh, to get it absolutely right but to be honest that's good enough for me to uh, to ring with at the moment I haven't rung for about four months on a, a bell so or on a simulator so I'm just going to do some ringing Go, clean box. 